Hi everyone, so earlier today I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and I found a good deal on a used PS4 Slim in the camo colorway right here. Um, now the seller did say that everything was working perfectly on her end and she did seem like a genuine seller. However, when I tried testing it out myself, um, the console had this error, which uh, is just popped up right now. Um, and unfortunately I did get scammed. However, I'm a computer science student. So aside from coding, my hobbies is fixing these kinds of stuff like laptops and consoles and so on. So today I will be showing you guys how to fix this console um, in three steps. So let's get right into it. So if you search online, there are actually many ways on how to resolve this matter and it will differ for every individual. Um, so the first way um, is to just clean the PS4 um, using an air blower, which I have right here and a cleaning cloth and a spray. Um, this is isopropyl alcohol um so that's just the easiest way and i suggest doing this first before going into the more harder ones um, but those ones will have um, more probability of success now the second step is to actually replace the hard drive um and just placing it back in again sometimes um in the ps4 uh, maybe a screw may be loose or something like that so just take out the hard drive um maybe clean it in, uh, in the process and then plug it back in and try that and the last method is actually to replace the hard drive. So as you see in the error, it's mostly an issue with the hard drive. Um, so you take a replacement hard drive right here, which you already have, um, and switch the old one with this new one, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, that means the issue is something with the PlayStation, and you might need to see other videos on how to fix it, but this is just um, related to the hard drive. So hopefully um, these three steps can help you fix the issue. So let's get right into it. So firstly, I will be cleaning the PS4 using an air blower right here, um, a screen cleaner and a cloth. So yeah. So I finished cleaning the PS4 and unfortunately the same error still occurs. Um, also, one thing you could try, guys, is um, there are three HDMI ports right here on the TV. You could try connecting them differently to like HDMI and HDMI 2. Just try each of them because I saw online that um, that might fix your issue, but um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, on to the next method. So for our next method, you will need a screwdriver. I already have one right here. And one thing you can do is just shake your PS4 and you can hear that like rattling sound. That means the screw is not tight. So um, hopefully this will fix that. So in a PS4 Slim, uh, now if you have the PS4 normal edition or the PS4 Pro, the hard disk uh, locations may vary. But for a PS4 Slim, at, at the back, you'll have this like detachable bracket, you could say. So just put your finger right there, pull it up. See, it's that simple. So this is already off, okay? And now you don't have to touch, oh, you actually have to touch this. So yeah, you, now you do have to open this screw right here. Right now. So this holds the um, hard drive. So make sure you have this, you don't lose that. And here's the hard drive. So simply just pull it, pull it up. See? There you go. And here is the hard drive, see, it's that simple. So now I will just uh, open this hard drive, um, tighten all the screws and put it back in to the console and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, on to the next step where I do have to replace this hard drive with a brand new hard drive. So one thing I'd like to mention is that after you've taken out all the screws from the hard drive, do make sure to remember how you um, put it back. So like, let's say I clean it and everything's done um, and I don't know how to put it back. Do make sure that the title of the hard drive is face down and these two like pins right here are facing the opposite end of the pulling tag. So do make sure you do it that right the right way because if say you do it the wrong way, um, let's say something like this, it won't work and you might damage these pins and they're very sensitive. So do make sure you do it the right way before putting it back into the console. So guys, I do have good news. Method two uh, of just taking out the hard drive and cleaning it out uh, worked. So uh, thumbs up right there. 
uh, and we didn't even have to go to method 3. So method 3, in case, say, method 2 doesn't work for you guys, take your hard drive and replace that old hard drive with the new one. So it's just that simple. So it's basically like method 2, but instead of um, cleaning out the new hard uh, the old hard drive, I mean, just replace it with this new hard drive and you should be good. Uh, so yeah, that concludes the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, let me know in the comment section uh, if this was helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.